This is the top 10 MCU movies of all time. Well, what's happening, everyone? Um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of top 10 lists. Um, especially discussing best MCU movies um, and whatever. And I must stress two things. This top 10 list is entirely my opinion. And also, if you haven't seen the MCU movies, there will be spoilers out here. Um, spoilers ahead. Um, because I will probably be alluding to specific moments or villains in the movies, for example. Um, so yeah, just a warning that spoiler alert is in effect here. Um, and also, <laughs> this is probably a spoiler, spoiler alert for this actual top 10 video. A lot of people may be shocked at my number one. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the top 10. In 10th place... This may be controversial, and controversial in the fact that a lot of people may ha have this higher in, on their top 10 lists. But in my opinion, in 10th place, is Thor Ragnarok. For me, it's a great film. Definitely the best of the Thor movies. Um, there was a lot of positives around the movie as well. Um, there was a lot of good comedy. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed like Hulk's role in the entire film. Um, I think the whole, the film also had a great villain, um, in Hela. Um, and yeah, Loki. Loki's brilliant in every movie, really. <laughs> but, for me, the absolute best part of the entire film, and I still actually get chills when I, I watch it, is the, the Led Zeppelin aspect. <laughs> when Thor does the amazing lightning on Hela, and then, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's just so amazing. Um, but yeah. Thor Ragnarok is in 10th place. In 9th place, we'll have one of the earlier films. Um, and it's Captain America, the first Avenger. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think as time goes on, I think it's actually getting better, if that makes sense. Um, I think the plot line around it was very good. Um, obviously going from the, the wee skinny Steve Rogers to the like big super soldier. Um, again, very good villain in the Red Skull. Um, introduced a lot of good characters later on. Um, there was still, a, there was a few cheesy moments in it. Um, but I do believe it's a very good film. Um, and it introduced us to Captain America very well. Um, and yeah, I think moving forward in time, I think the film will also get better recognition than probably what it does. But it's my number nine. In number 8, we'll have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. Um, I really like, I'm not going to say I really like them all, but I like all the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I thought Part 2 was probably, Volume 2 was probably unlucky not to get in. Um, the top 10, I really liked it. Um, but I still think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 is the best of the Guardians films. Um, probably like a lot of people who was into like, comics and superhero movies and stuff like that. I'm a superhero memorabilia collector. I didn't really necessarily know a lot about <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy, but obviously they're very well known now, um, and I really enjoyed the film. Some great comedy in it. Great comedy in it. Um, the characters like the Drax, Star-Lord, Rocket, I am Groot, <laughs> um, yeah, and Gamora. Amazing. Um, and also, the action in the entire movie, the comedy, a lot of great things. And the only thing for me that sort of lets it down, though, is the villain. I don't think the villain was that great um, in Ronan. I think, the, obviously, the villains as time went on in the, the next Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Um, Peter Quill's father and whatever. Um, was much better villains than the first one, but overall, I do think the first Guardians film is the best one of them, and it's number eight in my list. In seventh place, we'll have the first Avengers film, and looking back on it now, the graphics aren't as probably good as what we actually thought they were back then, especially the like aliens, um, the Chitauri. They don't really look that great now. Um, but it's still an unbelievable movie, let's face it. Um, action the whole way through it. The dialogue between the main actors, Thor, Hulk. 
Hawkeye, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, um, even Loki, the dialogue was there. Everything about the movie was great. Um, action packed, as I say. Um, and it just set up things as well, moving on. There was a lot of like Easter eggs in the film, potential plot lines linking on from it. Um, and I think that's what made the original MCU, because this will take another video, like it seems all over the place at the minute, but you can really clearly see what they were planning with those original films, was to introduce like so Thor, Iron Man, Captain America with their own movies, and then bring them together into one like super film. And I think the first Avengers worked brilliantly. Um, as I say, it only get bigger from them, but in terms of like an entry film, for the first Avengers film. I think it was top draw. Um, still one of the biggest selling movies of all time I believe. Um, and yeah. I still watch it frequently. Even though the graphics are getting a bit outdated. But yeah. It's number 7 on my list. In number 6. We'll have what many people would consider another Avengers film. Even though it isn't an Avengers film. It's Captain America Civil War. Um, the amount of superheroes in the movie. Um. Captain America, Ant-Man, Black Widow, Iron Man, but also the introduction of new ones such as Black Panther, Spider-Man, made the movie absolutely epic in terms of expectation, and the airport scene alone um, was absolutely amazing, and look, you look sort of like it'll be remembered fondly for that scene, but I think the ending as well was absolutely brilliant. Um, I think the villain of the entire film or the, the villain of the entire film was absolutely amazing, Zemo. Um, considering he had no superpowers or whatever like that, he just outwitted the entire like Avengers. And it's actually probably one of the only occasions where the villain actually, you could argue, actually wins. Um, <laughs> um, so we definitely want to see more of Zemo. But I think the ending, bringing the, the Captain America versus Iron Man versus the Winter Soldier was absolutely brilliant. Um... And obviously led on to like the split, which was the common other movies. Um, Captain America, Civil War, still amazing. And it, it'll stand the test of time as well. Um, there's no real grapes with it whatsoever. I can't really think of any, um, to be honest. As I say, it was like an Avengers movie. You could argue it was like the original Avengers 3, <laughs> um, even though it wasn't in the title. But yeah, absolutely loved it. And I don't know what anybody else thinks. For me, it's number six though. And now we're into our top five. And this may shock a lot of people, but I'm going Avengers Endgame in number five. A lot this will be at a lot of people's number one. And I understand why. It has so many epic scenes in the movie. Like Thor lifted or Captain America lifting Thor's hammer. Um the entire battle at the end is just din 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 din. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Avengers! Like, absolutely epic. And I'm even getting chills thinking about that moment. Like, it's unbelievable, that scene. Um, so many other epic moments in there. Obviously, Iron Man's death, spoiler alert. Um, just tied everything into together, really. And I think for a lot of people, since then, the MCU hasn't been the same. The films haven't been the same, or as good. The storylines haven't been as good. Everything hasn't tied in as good. Um, and Thanos was just brilliant again. Um, but for me it's only fifth. I know a lot of people say it should be number one. Or at least number two. But for me it's number five. I, I do think there was still a lot of like. Weird questions around the film. In terms of like. Plot lines and stuff like that. And whatever but it's still an amazing movie um but just in my opinion it's only f number five and fourth i'm going for black panther an amazing movie um you can easily watch it's one of those the mcu movies that you can actually watch without watching the other ones it's that good it, it, it can stand alone as a just a standalone movie it's absolutely brilliant um but for me well, obviously, Jatala, Black Panther himself, was absolutely incredible in the film. And again, moving forward, I think it's going to be hard to replace him. And they haven't really replaced him. I know Wakanda Forever was a pretty good film, but it just didn't feel the same without Jatala. 
Um, but for me, what was the absolute best moment of Black Panther was the villain. He's unbelievable. Killmonger. For me, it's between him and Thanos as the best MCU villains. I think he stole the show. Um, it's one of those villains where you actually go, he's actually right. I'm not saying you root for him <laughs> because he's bad, but he actually has a logic behind why he is the villain and you can understand why. Um, I just think he was an unbelievable villain and it's just a shame, again, spoiler alert, he was actually killed off. I know he was in Wakanda forever and make a flashback, um, but I think he was unbelievable as a villain. The whole movie was brilliant. Um, probably very unlucky to be not top three, but I think you'll probably understand the top three, or my top three as I name them here. But yeah, it's unbelievable. Easily one of the best MCU films, and it's just brilliant to watch on its, on its own, as I say. And third, we'll have Iron Man 1. The movie that started it all, and again, well, I knew a bit about Iron Man before the film came out, but he wasn't like if you're crossing into D um the DCU universe, everybody has heard of Batman and Superman, and even like the MCU, everybody's heard of like Spider Man and even Hulk, for example. But only the like dedicated superhero fans will know about Iron Man. So it was sort of a risk bringing out the film, but for me it was absolutely brilliant. The casting, I know like there was changes in War Machine, I'm not going to get into that, <laughs> but the casting of Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man was just, for me, the best. The, the only comparison I could have, well, there's a lot of comparisons, Chris Evans as Captain America is unbelievable, but the only, gen and Loki, I'll say that as well, Loki, like, It'll take hard to, to really cast a better Loki than him. But the only other comparison for actor that I compare to Robert Downey Jr. Um, is Iron Man, is Hugh Jackman, is Wolverine. I just think they, those two are like, were absolutely perfect for their roles. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark was just unbelievable. And I think the f part one movie, not only did it set up, the entire MCU building on. It's a brilliant movie as well. I think the villain. I just love the part where. The villain goes. Tony Stark built this in a cave. With a bunch of scraps. <laughs> I love it. Um, I just think the whole movie was brilliant. Like the transformation from Tony. To like cocky. Arrogant. Billionaire playboy. Um, engineer. Who was like. Like weapons and then to like the hero he's still like the cocky brash billionaire but obviously good intentions and then obviously later on and like avengers endgame as already mentioned he died but i just think as the first movie in the entire mcu it set up everything brilliantly and that's for me it's why it's top three but only third and now we're into the top two and I can understand why a lot of people probably say this one should be number one. Because it was very close in my opinion. Um, but only in second is Avengers Infinity War. For me it's the best Avengers film. Bar none. Thanos steals the show as the villain. Um, and it's the way the villain should be. Built up to like slow build to make the villain just so always oh, coming, he's coming. We're waiting on him. And it, his entrance was just so epic. Like, again, spoiler alert. I know there's stuff like about in the series, Loki and all was brought back, but the people that died in the movie, Loki, um, and whatever. And then at the end, he should have gone for the head. It just unbelievable. Thor was brilliant in the movie as well. For me, it was Thor's best appearance in a movie. Captain America was always brilliant. Iron Man was always brilliant. Everybody in this movie was just brilliant. Doctor Strange for me, right, I loved Multiverse of Madness, but for me, this was Doctor Strange at his best as well. Um, I just think the movie was absolutely brilliant from start to finish. Action, non-stop the whole way through. Sat up Avengers Endgame absolutely perfectly, by the way. Um, but as I say, Thanos stole the absolute show. And the way the, just the film, 
just unbelievable. <laughs> it could definitely be number one. Like, and I think oh, Avengers Endgame was the pinnacle with the battle of the end, the battle at the end. Like as I say, Avengers Assemble. But I think no matter what the MCU do does moving forward, I don't think they'll ever do a crossover movie like Avengers Infinity War. For me, it was the absolute cream of the crop, the best. Um, and a lot of people will be surprised it's not number one. But now I'm going to name the, no, the number one, and you'll see why. And number one, we'll have Thor the Dark World. Malakith the villain was absolutely... I'm only joking. It's not. <laughs> um, that'll be a in the list. Spoiler alert for the top ten worst MCU movies. Um, but that's another for another video. But my number one... Is Captain America the Winter Soldier. I love it. I just love it. A lot of people may disagree with us. But in my opinion. It's the best MCU movie. Action packed the whole way through. The like. Not the necessarily the who don't. But the surprise of like. Not the surprise. But the slow build up of like. Hydra inf infiltrating the. Um, shield from within over the years um, coming out and all and just the, like the, the the spy elements to it um, as I say the action introduction of Falcon the dialogue between Black Widow and Captain America was unbelievable um, the Winter Soldier himself the villain like the story behind it like Bucky Barnes everybody knew it was coming but just like the whole way it was brought out um, for me it was just for me it's the best I know a lot of people will disagree, but for me, it's the best one. I just loved watching it, and I think the way it set up other movies as well. I know, like at the end, there was the the after credit scene with the, like the the Maximoff children, um, but I just think the fall of like Shield and the rise of Hydra set up everything perfectly. Um, for me, it was Captain America at his best. The whole action aspect of it and I would love to see more I think I know Captain America A New World is coming out it'll be a bit hard to replace Chris Evans I understand that um, but I really like that movie and I would love to see more superhero movies of the, the Winter Soldier ilk like uh, for me the best ever superhero movie again this could be for another list but a spoiler alert is The Dark Knight but this Winter Soldier was right up there. That type of like story, like action, but tense. I just love films like it. So yeah, but what does everybody else think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What should have been included? What was included that shouldn't have been? <laughs> um, so yeah, what's everybody's opinions? And thanks very much for watching. And if you can, like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>